Social Security Supplemental Request, Growing Threats and Aggression, particularly from the Chinese government. In short, the world is on edge. And Sir, after the country, all the people of Gaza, please play now. Save the children of Gaza. Save the children of Gaza. They are running out. Uh, hospitals don't have the tool they need to operate. Palestinians are the committee will suspend, and I again ask that those in the audience respect the people in the room and allow us to continue the hearing. The hearing will suspend until the uh, disruption is removed. It makes America stronger by modernizing our arsenal of democracy. We're standing up for our interests and values, not shrinking back. Not in the face of Russia's aggression against Ukraine. Not in the face of an intensifying strategic competition in the Indo-Pacific and around the world. If the witness will suspend, and I ask that everyone again respect this hearing, we will suspend until the room is cleared. I also hear very much the passions expressed in this room and outside this room. All of us are committed to the protection of civilian life. All of us know the suffering that is taking place as we speak. All of us are determined uh, to see it end. Uh, but all of us know the imperative of standing up with our allies and partners when their security, when their democracies are threatened. That's what's happening now. We stand resolutely with them, even as we stand resolutely for the protection of innocent civilians. Could you clarify the administration's position on a ceasefire? We do believe that uh, we have to consider things like humanitarian pauses to make sure that assistance can get to those who need it and that people can be protected and get out of harm's way. But we can't have a, a situation where there's a reversion to the status quo where when this is over, it goes back to Hamas being responsible for the governance uh, and uh, so-called security uh, of Gaza, because that's simply an invitation to repeat what happened. And again, no nation would tolerate that. And I have repeatedly made clear to Israel's leaders that protecting civilians in Gaza is both a moral responsibility and a strategic imperative. Democracies like ours are stronger and more secure when we uphold the law of war and protect civilians. Now, uh, I think that based upon where they started, I can guarantee you that without our, without our support, Putin will be successful. And, uh, and while the Ukrainians have done amazing work, you know, with our help in terms of the things that we provided them, uh, if we pull the rug out from under them now, uh, Putin will only get stronger and he will he will be successful in doing what he wants to do in acquiring his neighbor's uh, sovereign territory. Do you believe it will be more expensive in terms of America blood and treasure? A task that's made even more difficult as Hamas uses civilians as human shields.